At that time, Jesus arose and went away to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And he entered a house and did not want anyone to know that he could not be hidden. But immediately a woman whose little daughter had an unclean spirit heard of him and came and fell down at his feet. Now the woman was a Gentile, a Syrophoenician by birth, and she begged him to cast the demon out of her daughter. And he said to her, Let the children be fed first, for it is not right to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. But she answered him, Yes, Lord, yet even the dogs under the table eat the children's scraps. And he said to her, For this statement you may go your way, the demon has left your daughter. And she went home and found the child lying in bed and the demon gone. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Dear friends, maybe you have heard the story of a child asking a priest, is Jesus black or white? The priest knew that child has something else in his mind. <coughs> and then he said, no, Jesus is not black or white, but his color was in between both. The child said, in that case, Jesus was born for all. Today, we hear this episode where Jesus healing the child of a Canaanite woman, a Gentile, and the people of Israel thought they were the forward children of God and others. It's the sentiment of the people that Jesus repeats. They were considered them as dogs. They had no place before God. And even in the synagogue, they did not get a better place. And when Jesus uses the same sentiment, we begin to wonder, is Jesus discriminating? But Jesus uses this as an opportunity for disciples to learn a lesson. And the food that was meant for children will be given to this woman who comes to Jesus. And when Matthew narrates this episode in his gospel, at the end Jesus calls her woman with respect and tells her, your faith is so great. So there may be man-made discriminations, caste, creed, color, but they are not a discrimination before God. Jesus does not make any differences. Everyone receives the blessings of God if they show their faith in Him. You see the same pleading that Peter makes when he was drowning in the water, when he moves towards Jesus, when he found Jesus walking on the water. And the same words are used here when this woman asked Jesus to help me. And there, with Peter, Jesus says, Did you have no faith? Here, Jesus appreciates the faith of this woman. So we ask the Lord to give us that grace to grow in deep faith in Jesus and may have the courage to accept everyone 
going beyond the caste, creed, religion, and accept everyone as children of God.